Hello ladies and gentlemen, Forest Wobble here and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl. In the last episode, we explored our way around Orberg City, as well as uh, taking a look at the Orberg Mines. And now, in this episode, it's going to solely focus on taking on the Orberg City Gym, completely 100%. So let's take a look at the layout of this gym. So let's see what this man here has to say. Howdy! How's it going, champ to me? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it's, it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock type Pokemon will be a fire type Pokemon. With the fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. So you have two methods of uh, challenging the gym leader. You can go straight through this path up here. Or you could take the cheap way as I like to call it. And, and it, if you don't let me go, okay, boom, just like that. Now, because I don't like doing cheap options, we will be doing it the, the way you're supposed to. But before we do that, I do want to show off my team that I'm going to be using. The two Pokemon that are on my team right now that I'll be using. It'll be Machop, who is at level 11. Uh, Pengu, who is at level 13. Those are basically the only two Pokemon I'll be dealing with, because even though Dracula is at level 9, and it does have Absorb, the only thing is two problems. Number one, it does not get the same type attack bonus with Absorb, because Absorb is a grass type, and Zubat is a poison flying type. Uh, so he won't be able to get the same type attack bonus there. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, and also because he's at the she's at level nine, uh, I she'd be too weak for me to feel the need to use her. So we are going to use Machop first, and we're going to switch out both Machop and Pingu uh, in the event that we do something here. All right, so let's get started with the first gym trainer. He only has one Pokemon on his team, and it is Geodude! Go, my Chogan! Go use. Okay! It's super effective! Go use Defense Girl. But no matter. We shall use revenge and knock it out. Just like that. And it's down. So my children grew to level 12. What's the one to move low sweep? So let's see what it does. It's a 65 power move, which could also go with it. That there. You know what? I'm gonna go. Oh. You know what? Oh, you know what? I'll get rid of focus energy. Because with Leer, it can also lower the attack stat. So yeah, there's that. And Houdini grew to a level 11. Now I understand why you decided to battle with me. Yep. So because of reasons, I will be switching. First of all, that's not what I was trying to do. I will switch these two around for the next gym battle. Well, gym trainer battle. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. And I do intend to win, my boy. Why do you think I'm here? 
So, uh, youngster Darius has two Pokemon on his team. Gonna start it out with a Geodude. And we're gonna come out with a with our Pig Dude. Gonna use Water Gun. See if it'll knock it out, and it does easily, very easily. One hit knockout. And it's gonna come out with an Onyx, so we're gonna bring out uh, Machop. Now, I'm not sure if we're faster than Onyx, but we are a few levels, a, a couple of levels ahead of it. So, we're gonna do low sweep. Cause I'm not sure, okay, yeah, we went faster. Ooh, I ain't, bro. And there it goes, lower the speed. <clears throat> Gonna do low kick to finish it off. And it was a critical hit even though that wouldn't have been enough to knock it out. And Dracula grew to level, level 10. And it learned Mean Look, which basically prevents the Pokemon from escaping battle. As long as the Pokemon that has used the move is still out, uh, the opposing Pokemon cannot escape. Alright. First of all, let's do this. Then we're gonna go over here. Swap Machop for, uh, for Pengu. Welcome! This is the Orbert Pokemon Gym. I'm Roark, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. And now it's time for the first gym of the game, Roark, the Orberg City Gym Leader. He's gonna have three Pokemon and he's gonna start off with his Geodude. So, Geodude and the Onyx are basically nothing to take be concerned with. The only thing that you have to be concerned with is the no, is Geodude, his, it's either going to be his Geodude or his Onyx. It's going to start off with uh, Stealth Rock. So, we're going to have to take it out before anything. But it's going to use Stealth Rock. It usually will do Stealth Rock on the first turn. But if it's not going to be Geodude, it most likely it might be his Onyx. See, told you he's gonna use Stealth Rock. So, Stealth Rock will hit your opponent, will hit your Pokemon. Uh, if that happens, then we're kinda screwed. So, Macho Machoga grew to level 13. Gonna switch out to uh, Pengu. I wanna switch out to Pengu. And I'm probably going to keep it out against uh, Kratidos, which is going to be his third Pokemon. But we'll talk about Kratidos when we get there. But because of Stealth Rock, yeah, it just hit Penguin. So he's going to do Rock Throw. Not really going to do anything to us. But that Water Gun certainly will to uh, Onyx. But it did have Sturdy, which is basically like Muir. And I know I could have used a. Uh, and I know I could have used a. Uh, uh, used tackle. But I knew it was going to be enough to take down on it, so I went with the water gun anyway. So, Pangu grew to level 14. Nala grew to level 14 as well. Houdini grew to level 12. And Hedwig grew to level 14. So now comes his big gun. Did he even take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones? 
Gyarados. This Pokemon is a pain in the butt, okay? This has Mold Breaker, as you can see, but what Mold Breaker does is that, um, I believe, oh, how did they go? I think it was, it's kind of like pressure in a way, I think. But let me tell you the hell that this Pokemon put me through when I first played through the game because he kept spamming the headbutt and it kept making me flinch. And just like that, it was over. This time it didn't cause me any problems because of course it would be, the game would be nice to me. What? That can't be my buffed up Pokemon. So we got 1,960 Poké dollars for winning. But of course this game would do, wait, what? Hedwig is evolving. Oh. Oh, what is it? Congratulations, your Hedwig evolved into Staravia. Yay. In data added to the Pokedex, they live in forest and fields. Squabbles over territory occur when flocks collide. How very cool. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League coal badge. And there you go. Our very first gym badge. Very nifty. We received a coal badge from Roark. Roark. Having that cool badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poke Edge. You should also take these too. You obtained TM76s. These are, the, this is Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on opponents that switch into battle. And these are the stickers I use. Here, take some. And these are the stickers that Roar uses. Incidentally, a TM would teach its move to a Pokemon instantly. But a TM will break when you use it, so be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. But yeah, so at this point in time, if we wanted to... If we really wanted to... We could teach Stealth Rock to Pengu. Which is something I'm honestly kind of surprised about. Truthfully, because I didn't think Pingu would learn, uh, Stealth Rock, but whatever. Besides, I mean, I mean, look at my moveset, though. Look at this. If you look at my moveset, unless I wanted to get rid of Growl for Stealth... You know what, actually? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. I am going to teach Pengu Stealth Rock. I want to teach this one Stealth Rock. Why? Because why not? So yeah. Uh, let's see. Rock Smash. Uh... So let's see, both Machop, Machogan and Pingu can learn Workup. Uh, Machop can learn, uh, can learn Rock Smash, but it's not that good of a move as you can tell by the, by the, what it's saying over there in the corner. While it may lower the target's defense stat, uh, the problem is its power is 40. Even though it's a 100 accuracy, its power is 40. And if you look at the summary of my Machop, uh, it's already got some hard hitting moves. You got Low Kick, uh, where uh, Low Kick is about uh, the, the heavier the target, the, the, the greater the move's power. And then you also got the same type of attack bonus. You got Low Sweep, which is the 65 power, and then you got Revenge, which is 60 power. 
So basically, I don't have a need for Rock Smash as an HU as a move from Machop, especially considering the fact that you can now use wild Pokemon as a means to, uh, <clears throat> you can use rock Pokemon uh, or wild Pokemon as a means to, uh, get, uh, to use Rock Smash. I think I already described it twice, but whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go heal up. We're not gonna end this show. We're not gonna end this video right now at this point in time. I am gonna do a little bit more uh, exploration, uh, go back to Jubilife, and show, uh, if I can, the Mystery Lift event that is going on currently for those of you who somehow don't know about it. But we will get to that uh, when we get to this dude literally just standing there, almost making me think that he was waiting for me to do something there. But anyway, let's go. Wait, wait, oh! Damn it, Barry, you gotta quit running into me. Oh, Freaky, you got the gym badge, huh? Eternal City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? Uh, so yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eternal Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Bah, who's got time to count? Let's move! My boy, you gotta calm down some. So, if you go up here, I'm curious. I'm gonna save my game. I wanna save. So I feel like I'm about to put myself through some shit. Stardust there. Oh. See, we encountered a lot of GD. Please tell me they're not overpowered. Okay, no, they're not. I thought for a second there I was gonna put myself in a position where I wouldn't be able to do anything here. So we already got Geodudes. We don't need any more. I'll go ahead and do some training with them just because. Because we already caught them, so we don't really have a need for that. Super effective. Using defense curl. Gonna raise its defense up. But it's not really going to do anything for it because I'm going to knock it out. And I'm going to gain some experience from it. Let's see, Dracula grew to level 11. Yeah, if you, perhaps, if you spam A, you can actually, go, you can actually skip the... Uh, animation there for it. And we got TM70 Flash. So Flash is basically a necessary, I guess a kind of necessity for, necessary thing for a, uh, uh, for a team. Like in case you want to uh, use it in caves where you, you have very limited light. But yeah. That's how it is there. Low sweep. And it endured the hit. But its speed went down. 
but it's going to increase its defense because of defense curl. But as I just said, it's really not going to do anything for it at this point. And it's at level 5, so... I'm now starting to get an increase of Pokemon for some reason, I don't even know why. But we gotta go back down there to deal with, uh, that, uh, to do with that bike path, and we'll go to that at a, at a particular point. But right now, because, well, we, because we can't go through that way yet, uh, because we don't have the bike right now, but we can uh, get it when we go to Eternal City after we get the gym badge there. But for right now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save, or not save here. I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. You know, you know I'm curious here. Let me see something here. Oh, who did a camera? You know what? Just in, just in case, I'm gonna give it to. I'm gonna give it to Houdini. Just to give it a move there. Just because it's gonna be a while before it evolves and even learns anything at this point because it's gonna evolve into. So here's this one right here. See, there's a person that we gotta deal with here. Wait a minute. I just realized what we might have to have done. What we might have to do. But I could have sw Yeah, it's... We gotta do something real quick. Alright, so hold on one second and we'll be back. Ready to do what we gotta do here. So now that we're in Jubilife City, what we gotta do in order for things to go the way it's supposed to is we're supposed to go up this way because you, as you will see here, you have, uh, we're gonna have, uh, team, uh, the, this, these, this group of people here with Rowan and Dawn. Let's see what's going on up here. Ah, oh, freaky, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling on a nonsense that I just can't stomach. So them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant does not become collateral damage. Freaky, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. So now we're dealing with Team Galactic Grunts. So one's going to send out a Zubat and the other will be sending out a Wurmple. So basically we got our two Pokemon here. So Zubat's attack was not lower due to its inner focus ability, but Wurmple's attack did. So y'all know which one I'm going for. I'm going for the Zubat. See, we, we, we both knew what we, which one we were going for, because of course we would. So, my children grew to level 14 just now, that's cool. And we're going to thunder shot that Zubat and nearly do one, nearly, just nearly, uh, one shot it. Dang. So Chimchar is gonna get the uh, finishing the finishing blow to knock it out. Pengu is growing to level 15 and he wants to learn to move Peck. Hmm. Hmm. No, we'll get rid of Charm. I know some people are going to be like, dude, you should keep charming. Why did you even 
Government Lucky of Intention Stealth Rock. The Danny Brutal Level 13. And we defeated the two Galacticrons. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing their children. This won't do. Time to retreat. This mission is a failure. And we got 1,296 Poké Dollars for winning. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Tim Galactic is benevolent, benevolent to all, we shall leave. <clears throat> so, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Freakly, well done. You battled quite capably. Seeing your trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with the Pokedex. Freaky, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. And thus that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. So Freaky, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Yep. But now, oh wait. Hey, who's this? Whoa, what was that just now? That was amazing. Those guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. That was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's Bebe, and I work as a system administrator in Hard Home City East of here. Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give these ball capsules to you. You got ball capsules. Now you can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. You can custom. You can customize your own capsule or court decoration by placing stickers on ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule and it'll look really pretty when it bursts open. Stickers will also give you an edge in the super contest shows where I live in Learn Home City. So try to collect a bunch. Anyway, see you later. Alright, so... With that battle, we can finally enter this building right here, Jubilife TV. The Jubilife TV building. Now, if you go over here, you'll have this woman right here. It's a lottery corner. If you draw a number attached, matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, so with the far right digit, you will receive a fabulous gift, which I'd like to save and draw. The lottery ticket is 04525. Now, let's see if it does. Nope, didn't get a match. I believe in order for that to be a thing, you have to, uh, you have to trade Pokemon here. But there is a trade, there is a person that you have to see in this building in order to get a certain, get a certain thing going up here. And it's this guy right here. Hey there, how's it going? I'm a TV producer here. Can I get your opinion about something to help you to... Yes, thanks. It's sort of good to feel for kind of theme of programs do you like? So, if you were to do this in the original Diamond and Pearl, you would have to do it twice. The first time, the fr it's basically split in half. It'd be everyone happy for the first time, for the first bit you had to do, and then Wi-Fi connection for the second half. So everyone happy Wi-Fi connection would be there. Oh? The fact that you know that phrase tells me you're someone in the know. You're a trainer, right? I'll pull some strings for you. I think I can swing a deal so you'll be able to get a mystery gift. So now that you have this ability to go for the uh, mystery gift, we're going to go ahead and get in there. So now, connect it and please stand by. You're not connected to the internet. Save your progress. Set your for gifts. So you have two gifts. The first gift is the Manaphy Aid gift, which will obviously gift you a Manaphy, which I'm not going to use because of reasons. But there you go. We now have a Manaphy Aid. That's cool, but we're not going to use the Manaphy egg, like I said. So go check your Pokemon boxes, and now we have a clo clothing gift.
So this, even though you won't be able to see it, will be the gift for you to wear the Pokemon Platinum attire uh, from the original uh, thing there. So here's what we got there. I believe for the moment this is all we can get, but when there's another, any other mystery gift events coming out, I will do my best to do them, unless I am underleveled. If it involves a Pokemon battle and I'm underleveled, then I will have to wait until I am of level, if not a little bit over level, for it to work. But anyway, guys, uh, gonna go ahead and uh, save. I'm gonna save it here. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to end it here. I know it's a bit of a short video, but I'm going to end it here for the video. In the next episode, uh, looking at our town map, if I can go to it without messing everything up. With our town map, we, we're, we, our next location is Eterna, G uh, Eterna City, but we're going to be making our way to for Roma Town in the next episode. Uh, there. But for right now, guys, that's gonna do it for this for this uh, episode of Pokemon. I didn't mean to press that button. It's gonna do it for Pokemon. <clears throat> it's gonna do it for Pokemon Shine and Pearl. This episode of it such. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this is Forest Walpole. Sign it off.